Hello, I'm James Jolly, Editor-in-Chief of Gramophone Magazine, and the recording I want to champion is the 1979 DG recording of Beethoven's Eroica Symphony, conducted by Carlo Maria Giolini and featuring the Los Angeles Philharmonic. It was recorded in 1978. I was at school and already a passionate record collector and a great fan of Giolini's conducting. And I noticed that he was bringing the Los Angeles Philharmonic to London for two concerts at either end of a European tour. The first concert comprised uh, Mahler's Tenth Symphony, the Adagio, and then the Eroica. And then about three and a bit weeks later, he returned with his orchestra and they did Mozart's Jupiter and Tchaikovsky's Pathétique. But it was the Eroica from those two concerts that made an enormous impression on me. Here's this work dating from the very first years of the 19th century. It was premiered in 1805 and really made an enormous statement about the symphony and more to the point about Beethoven's view of mankind, humankind and uh, fighting against fate. Giolini's recording of the Eroica is a massive creation. The first movement, complete with its repeat, takes just over 20 minutes. And listening to it again all these years later is to be reminded of what an incredible creation Giolini uh, achieves with this recording. Uh, you feel the, uh, the ambition, the enormous leap in Beethoven's creativity in the way that Giolini unfurls the symphony. He was a viola player in his early days, and I think you can tell that from the way he tends to the string writing throughout this symphony. Every little detail is lovingly cared for, every little grace note placed perfectly. And in the second movement, the funeral march, the strings play with absolute ravishing uh, texture and colour. The last two movements are wonderful, but I think it's the first movement that makes the enormous impact. Um, it's not a recording, I think, that's probably a classic, but I think it's a very, very special recording indeed. And I do hope you enjoy it as much as I have down these many, many years since I first encountered it. Mm -hmm.